Hi, this is Jenny and you are watching my Indo vlog number 12. This month I'm going to talk about how I discovered that I was deficient in my iron and I could barely function. So here's the story. Hello all, this is at Jenny A. Hansen and I am returning for this month's endometriosis diary. I am not feeling so miserable today. This month was not so bad. It was a little bit scary because my husband was out of town, so I was really on my own with kids and trying to function. Um, but I've been feeling just achy and run down and gross and horrible, right? So I lucked out. I had a pretty, I mean, I wouldn't say it was an easy period this month, but it was a little bit better. Still been working on meditation with releasing and receiving and then a huge thing you guys I decided to go to the doctor and get a physical they did all these labs and blood work and my blood work came back that I was low on my iron levels so now I have to get IV infusions and it's helping me feel so much better apparently it's really common with women who have endometriosis that they get um, or that they end up with low iron levels and I'm so 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 thankful that the doctor I saw uh, thought to test that I started having feeling really weird and dizzy and lightheaded and like my hands and feet would get really cold and I started having these really bad I started having these really bad panic attacks and so I thought it was just anxiety um, I was having anxiety but the iron was making it feel a lot worse. So if you have endometriosis, go get some labs done, go get a physical, request that they check your vitamin Bs, vitamin Ds, and your iron. And I mean, I had doctors in the past that would say like, oh, let's look, at, let me look at your eyes and see if you have, like if you're anemic at all. And they would like look in my eyeballs and, and I don't know what they were looking for, but um, anyway they're like yeah no you're probably fine and they never tested for it which is just so dumb like they, the lab took two seconds <laughs> so anyway um my insurance of course paid for it all so have your iron levels checked um take vitamins take supplements but yeah anyway so it made me feel a lot better knowing that i'm super healthy but it's gonna take a couple of months to get that back on track and then once it does, hopefully I'll feel a little bit better and have a little more energy. And yeah, so that was it for this month. Like I said, not bad, not too horrible. Again, really fatigued and exhausted, but did discover that my iron was low. So all of you watching this that have endo, go get that checked, request it. And if your doctors are like, oh, but you look fine like your eyes don't look pale or yellow or whatever they look for I don't know just say it would make me feel more comfortable if you checked anyway and if your levels are low and you can get them back up you're gonna feel so much better I've only had one infusion and I already feel a little bit better not a ton but there's definitely some improvement so I'm excited <laughs> anyway Alright, um, I love you guys. Yeah, and I just thought fatigue was like part of having endo. So, yeah, go get it checked. Love you guys, and I guess until next video, next month. And if you check, if you click on the playlist, I have decided I am going to post these. Oh, I'm scared, I haven't done it yet, but I've made that decision that I am going to and just be vulnerable and real and raw with you. Um, but check the playlist because I'm also going to be doing nail tutorials that's what I do for work professional nail tech and a couple do it your way you know do it yourself type stuff and if you're a professional nail tech I think I'm gonna throw in some like business and um, like nail professional nail tech um, insights that I've learned over the many years <laughs> I've been doing nails so thank you for watching. I hope this helps some of you feel better. Remember just to hang in there, stay strong. Know that if you're feeling disgusting, it doesn't last forever and that you're in a lot more control of your body than you think you are and that there's other people out there 
that can fill you and they know how difficult that this struggle is but to stay strong and I love you thanks bye so I spoke to fucking soon um I was so excited and happy about this sort of easy period I had and it, it lasted maybe eight days and then I went to the doctor, found out my iron was low. <clears throat> I started taking a birth control pill and this type of birth control pill I was taking, one of the side effects is that you can spot and bleed for like on and off for two months while you adjust to the birth control. <laughs> so I started my period again after a week of taking this birth control and it's horrible and it was so bad. I think because I already had a period so there's not like really a lot in there to really shed. I don't know but I'm tired. I the fatigue is getting to me. Every day, all day, I'm exhausted. And, you know, but at least I know that's because I'm low on iron. So, hopefully, in a month, I'll feel better. But, ladies with endo, go get your iron levels checked. Seriously, if this fatigue. You don't have to deal with this every day. Go see if your iron's low. And if you're going to take a birth control pill, make sure you really do your research on knowing which one to take. When you have severe endometriosis, make sure it's one that has enough, um, I think it's pedestrian, no, 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 estrogen and pedestrian, no, not pedestrian. Um, Estrogen and the other hormone that starts the P, progestion, whatever. I give up at this point. Um, so make sure that that's high enough and so you don't have breakthrough periods and get another period a week after you just finished your period because. Shit, I don't have the strength for this to do this again. Anyway, damn. Yeah. So I'll let you know how next month goes. Hopefully a couple days I feel a little bit better. Get back to making some nail tutorials for you guys. I love you. Hang in there. Remember you're not alone. You're not going to feel like this forever. But there's good days and bad days. And yeah. Okay. Bye guys. I love you. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. Do you have endometriosis? Have you had your iron checked? Let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe to show me that you want that you like these videos. You want me to keep making it and spreading that awareness. If you want to know more about me, head over to my website at JennyAHanson.com. I'm on Snapchat. I blog, Periscope, do meditations, workshops, and have a weekly video cast. Remember, you are brave, powerful, and beautiful. Lots of love, Jenny.